Hello everyone. I hope you're cool. You're good. Last time we were talking about birds. Yes, we're still talking about birds in science. And um, today I want us to talk about common insects. We previously talked about birds, how useful they are, how dangerous they are. Now I want us to look at insects. Mm -hmm. Yes, we want to see characteristics of insects. What do they have? Mm -hmm. We said they have three main body parts. Insects have three. They could be having so many other parts, but the main are three. So they have three main body parts, and those are the head, there's that middle part called the thorax, and the abdomen, the lower part. Also, all insects have six legs. A true, listen to me, a true insect is supposed to be with six legs. Yes, I know you have so many questions. I heard a certain insect I saw which had eight legs. Yes, there are some which look like insects, but they are not true insects. So a true insect is supposed to be with six legs. If you don't want to say six legs, you can say three pair of legs. See this word, three pair? Three pairs of legs. Uh -huh. Also, insects use spiracles to respire. Use spiracles to respire. Another word to be respire is to breathe. All right? So they use spiracles to breathe. Let's see, you see? These are the three main body parts. We have the head, we have the thorax, and the abdomen. The abdomen in the last part. Uh -huh. All insects have six legs, like I told you. They have six legs, or you can say three pair of legs. This is the first one. Let's count, Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Also, you see the legs? Do you see them? Uh -huh. They use spiracles to respire or to breathe. You see, this is air. I'm imagining this is air, so they are using the spiracles. This is, do you see these holes? Where do we find, on, which, on what part of the body do we, on the insect, do we find the spiracles? These holes are called spiracles. So they are found on the abdomen. So it uses the spiracles from the abdomen to respire or to breathe. Mm -hmm. You see? You see? See that? They are breathing. It is breathing. Uh huh. All right. Now this takes us to common insects. We have so many insects in the environment, but let's look at just a few. A few of them, the common insects. Um, examples of common insects are: we have mosquitoes, we have white ants, grasshoppers, red ants, black ants, locusts, housefly, butterfly, cockroach, flea, bedbug, wasp, and bee. I believe there are so many you have never seen, and there are so many you see and you're like, ah, what is this? Okay, it's okay to keep asking. Ticks, listen and watch this. Ticks and spiders are not insects. Yes, ticks and spiders are not insects. For the spiders, they have eight legs and remember we said an insect is supposed to be with three pair of legs or six legs but for the spider it has eight so it ceases to be a true insect or oh, it's not a true insect uh-huh we, we are going to move on these insects you see are having groups they're of two groups there are those that are winged, that are having wings, and there are those that do not have wings. Yes. So the ones that are having wings are called winged insects. And those ones without wings are called non-winged insects. Have you ever seen any insect without, a, without wings? There are so many. There are so many. Then have you ever seen those ones with wings? Aha. Uh -huh. There are so many of them. Mm -hmm. I want you to be thinking of them. Think of those ones without wings. Without wings. There are many actually. When I close my eyes, I can be able to see so many of them. Mm -hmm. Let's see. The non-winged 
uh, insects, the ones that do not have wings are so many, but I'm going to list a few. Okay, you can also be able to find out as many as possible. One is the bed bugs. Ooh, the bed bugs. They're terrible. They can, they can bite. They may, they, they cause discomfort. They flee the same, the same. They also bite and feed on blood. They are also, they cause discomforts. They are ticks. There are some ticks, beetles, jiggers, termites. Where do we find the termites? In a an in a an ant hill. Have you ever seen an ant hill? Yes. Inside the ant hill, there are so many of the termites, and they are so destructive, my friend. They can, they can eat a whole big tree and make it fall. They are so destructive. We have black ants, which you normally see, and the red ants. These red ants here can bite. They are very, very, very dangerous. They can bite, and they cause discomfort, of course, and some people are allergic to their bites. Mm. Let's see them. See a bed bug? Ooh, I'm even scared of them. You see a flea? That one enjoys people's, people's um, blood, but they like being in places that are, um, that are not uh, that are not clean. So if you're not clean, expect a flea coming, visiting. We have a tick. These ones are mostly in animals. They like being in animals. The red ants. Hey, this one, it has powerful jaws. You see them? Once it bites you, ooh, you might cry forever. We have the black ants also there. These ones like eating sugar. Mm, they normally come in our sugar bowls. They like eating sugar so much. We have now the winged. The winged is the ones that are having wings. You have the bees. Do you know bees? What do you get from bees? Eh, hey, what do you get from bees? I already see people enjoying They put that thing that we get from the bees. They can put it and spread it on the bread. They can eat it. They can, you know, it's so very, very good. So if you eat what we get from the bees of course that's honey if you eat honey it is so good for your of course for your breathing for your for your immunity you won't have you won't have flu so much so be, uh, the bees give us honey we have the wasps these wasps are dangerous don't play around with any wasp a wasp is very dangerous it can it can bite you and it can cause a big swelling on you we have the dragonflies that are very fast, very fast. We have the locusts. These ones of recent attacked us. They are very destructive. Once they go in a garden, they can eat up the whole field. So the locusts are very, very dangerous. These locusts somehow look like grasshoppers. You know grasshoppers? Some of you enjoy eating grasshoppers. Who doesn't enjoy insanity? Hey, yes, me inclusive, I like eating and sending So the grasshoppers are somehow like the locusts. But for the locusts, are very dangerous because they eat up. They are, more, they are more harmful than good. Okay? So the sesa fly is there. See this word, sesa fly? Can you spell it? Sesa fly, it has a silent T. It is T S E, T S E. Sesa fly. Have the house fly, these ones are common in dirty places or damp places. If you have, uh, if you just dump rubbish anywhere, you are attracting the house flies and they are so dangerous, very harmful. Mm, the butterflies, oh, these ones are cute. The butterflies have wings and they have colorful wings. All right, let's um, continue and we see. See the mosquito? <laughs> Yes, this mosquito likes sucking blood and um, it spreads malaria. Most of the mosquitoes, mostly it spreads malaria. There are some other diseases that it spreads, but um, we, with, the, with the female Anopheles mosquito, spreads malaria. You see the white ants? People like eating them. They are very, very useful. You see a housefly? I told you. Where does it lay its eggs? In damp? Places or dirty places like what place? Hmm, like a toilet, like a dustbin. So they like laying eggs in dirty, dirty places. Who will know why? Worry not. Ah, uh, butterflies, like I told you, butterflies are having colorful wings. You see them? They are very colorful. 
Mm -hmm. The grasshopper, you see this? A grasshopper? Uh huh. A cockroach. Ew. A cockroach is also one of the dirty, 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 dirty insects. It likes also being in dark. Does it like light? It likes being in the dark. So the a cockroach will lay its eggs in dark places. Mm, this is the wasp I told you about. Very, very, very deadly. Very dangerous. It can bite. Uh huh. And then the bees. The bees are here. They give us honey. All right. The bees are here and they give us honey. So I hope you've understood. And I hope you can mention as many insects as possible. There are so many insects. You can ask. There are some you have actually you are seeing for the first time. Okay. So it's okay. It's wonderful. It's okay. Let's. Okay, and this is the end of this lesson. I love you so much. Till we meet again, bye-bye.